massive Pokemon Unite updates with lots of new Pokemons and lots of adjustments to the existing Pokemons. For example, Lucario is finally getting nerfed. And we're gonna unpack all of that as well as a letter from the producer, some very important information that you need to know going forward. Pokemon Unite is definitely becoming the game of 2021. Let's get this started. Hey guys, how's everyone doing? This is your guy Assassin Dave. Welcome back to Foreign Famous Family again. We got some really, really sick news on Pokemon Unite and why I think this game is gonna be the game of 2021 and why you should start playing it on mobile and definitely hit like, subscribe, and turn the bell on to all notification bells as well as a live stream channel because we'll be live streaming on the live stream channel for eight hours a day. Link in description. Make sure to find it, follow us there, and follow our live stream. We're gonna do a giveaway every single day, win some lucky skins, and obviously win some upgrades for your items. Now, let's first go over the important information from the producer of Pokemon Unite. And then we're gonna go over the updates. Supports cross-platform play between Nintendo Switch and smartphones, which we got from the, the new video that just came out. By linking accounts, it is possible to share and play one game data on all platforms. Now, what that means is basically all your current Switch account can be transferred to mobile and your mobile account can be transferred to Switch. They share the same megadata, so they share the same servers basically, so you can buy things on one platform and use them on another platform. This is so cool because I've spent about like $150 on my main account and I can just take that to my mobile devices and then play my main on my mobile where I got an account that unlocks basically everything already in the game. And then we got a bunch of updates regarding a new event, the Super Mochimono Enhancement Kit, and as well as new rice cakes will be introduced to, bro to broaden the range of strategies. Now, I don't know what that means by rice cake, uh, because this is a Japanese translation. We'll find out because it's coming tomorrow. I'm so excited, man. Part of the watching function will be released. Finally, the observer seat is coming back. Now, we definitely need that to host tournaments properly. The community tournaments are gonna, gonna be so important for this type of game. So I cannot wait to have the community tournaments. A new feature called Unite Circle will be implemented that makes it easier to play with other players. I don't know what that means. It probably means like the club function because we saw that in the intro video. Oh, that's gonna be so good, a squad function. If you have a team that can play together and you can have squad ranking on global scale. This is already exciting. The battle pass will change this to second season with specially directed holoware and a whole new trainer fashion. That's gonna be it for the ladder. That's the most important thing from the ladder. I'm super excited about the crossplay because mobile gonna destroy a switch. All right, guys, with that exciting updates, let's go read the update on individual Pokemons. First, we got Absol. Absol's cooldown for Night Slash has been reduced, decrease the range of the second attack. Sucker Punch cooldown decrease, increase the duration of Hindrance. So basically, Absol got a huge buff. Zerora reduced the amount of attack done for Slash, but increased the damage per hit. So now basically, you can go in, use a dash, slash, and come back and do a lot of damage and become completely invincible. Invincible. I think this combo is gonna make Zero Aura really strong on poking. Dash in, poke, come back. So I'm definitely gonna be playing Zero Aura once the update comes out for mobile. We're gonna, we're gonna make a whole range of contents and you guys are gonna see it's gonna be really, really fun. Spark, period between moves has been increased. Increased the amount of consecutive wild charges. Wild charge attacks while using Spark. The wild charge cooldown decreased. Also, wild charge reduced damage received when using attack. Zero R, man. It's gonna be meta. I'm gonna tell you right now. Zero R, similar to a character I played in another game called Arena Valor called Murad. The skill is similar, so, but Zero R is gonna be the dumb dumb version of it, and I, I can't wait to try this when mobile comes out. All right, Charizard. Makes a target get burned when hitting multiple opponents. Fire Punch, all right? That seems pretty fun. All right, Flamethrower. Increased movement speed after attacking. Fire Blast, cooldown decrease, Seismic Slam. Now increase damage deal by basic attacks and restore HP when damage opponents. Wow. Cooldown increased. Okay, okay. So it does make the ultimate cooldown a little bit, little bit longer, but you do get HP back when you hit. So I don't know how much longer because Charlotte right now have the shortest cooldown in the entire game. So with this changes, it's gonna be it's gonna be quite interesting. Venusaur, Giga Drain, increase the reduction of damage user receives after use. Pedal Dance, increase the total damage done. Cooldown reduced for the Pedal Dance as well, as well as increase movement speed for longer. So they try to make Venusaur the other option more viable because right now everybody used the, the bomb and then the uh, so laser beam. Now you're gonna get a Giga Drain and you're gonna get Pedal Dance. So you can go in, drain HP, and you get a damage reduction. And also you have total damage done. So 
Uh, I think that's gonna be cool. You know, you can turn Venusaur into a tank type of type of Pokemon, but he's still very very squishy. So um, we'll try this out and see how it works in rank. I cannot wait because this stream, this seems really really fun. Now it might be even viable in in jungle now if you can play him similar to uh, Blastoise, right? Just goes in, do a lot of damage, be invincible, and use your ultimate to do like a lot of burst damage. Maybe we'll find out. Venusaur's current biggest problem is he's too squishy. Now Cinderace. Power Ball, increase the total damage done for Power Ball. The Kuna has been reduced for Power Ball as well. The Flame Charge, Kuna has also been reduced. Blazing, Bicycle Kick, and Blaze has just got bug fixes. So overall, Cinderace, similar to Venusaur, they're trying to make the other option more viable, where your Power Ball, Flame Charge option, that's something you're gonna go with. Now, I'm really excited about that because I personally am a big fan of this Poke combo, because right now everybody's going Faint, everybody's going to Kick. With this, you can play Cinderace on the lane where you just totally farm, let Cinderace farm, and become a Poke monster. Maybe that's something you can totally do, right? And just get Blastoise Jungle or something. Tail and Flame. Stat increase on attack, cooldown reduce on fly, increase movement speed in the air. Flame Sweep, Unite Technique Gauge becomes more easier, easy, chargeable. So Tail and Flame, basically the Flame Sweep, the Unite move, get a cooldown reduction. That's a huge buff. Fly definitely got a huge buff. Cooldown reduce, increase movement speed in the air. I think this is a fact because the other Tail and Flame option is so good. But with this, Fly is, makes Tail and Flame untargetable. So this is going to make you super good then. They're going to make all the center Pokemons even better. I'm telling you telling you this right now. This is looking OP. Garchomp, defense stats, stats increase. Special defense, stats increase. Rough skin, adjust activation delay for Garchomp. Greninja, HP, stats decrease. Stats decrease for attack. So Greninja got a nerf. Fix above causing smoke screen plus appearing early. So that's a bug fix. A substitute adjust so target his substitute easier. Oh, so now if Greninja used the substitute, you're gonna confuse enemy better. So enemy will always try to hit the substitute first. Is that what's going on? Like, if that's the case, substitute might be better if you're gonna look for continuous damage, you know? The, right now, substitute is useless. Nobody used it. I would, who do you substitute when you have invisibility? Okay, you can probably possibly play Greninja as a marksman then. You stay in the back and you use substitute to confuse people. You don't really play like a jungle route. Jungle route, you still go surf, you still go the, the smoke screen. This one, you go substitute, you go the shuriken. What a shuriken fix a bug that prevented the movement speed adjustments. What a burst shuriken. Unite technique gauge become more easier chargeable. Lower the cooldown on it. Greninja's ultimate also got a huge buff on the cooldown reduction. Torrent, reduce attack boost. All right, let's go to Weekly Tough. Special attack, stats decreased. Uh, for Pound, damage lowered. Oh, finally. Dazzling Gleam, damage lowered. Because right now, Weekly Tough is not really a support. It does too much damage. You know, makes no sense. So, good. Seeing, fix the bug where Pokemon remain asleep even if hit by an attack. Okay, this is where I was totally confused. I saw the sleep was just a qual control in Pokemon Unite where similar to a stun in another game, it just presented in a different form. Apparently that's a bug, guys. Now that's just cringe. The game has been out for two months and we just realized the sleep qual control is actually a bug. See, similar to Lee, if you put somebody to sleep and you hit them one time, they should be released off that sleep, right? Cause I'm hitting you, wake the hell up. Apparently that's a bug. GG's, GG, GG's. Q charm activation gap reduced. Let's go take a look at Kremlin. Kremlin, basic attack damage increased. Surf damage lowered. Thank God. Dive time between moves has been reduced. The Gowling Gun Missile, damage lowered. Okay, okay, finally Kremlin got the nerf he desperately needed. This Pokemon combo and the quad control is too insane. Like, imagine a Pokemon that offers so much quad control, so much burst damage in one two skill kit. Right, late game, he throw the one skill, you're dead. You don't even have to do anything else. Just throw one combo, you're dead. So, a little bit too much there. All right, Lucario. Damage to opponent Pokemon lowered for power up punch. Oh my goodness. Finally, we got power up punch nerfed. Okay, Lucario is a little bit too strong right now. The last nerf wasn't en enough. Close combat damage increase. Increased amount of hits. So close combat finally got a get a buff because close combat is an option people never uses. For Lucario, people just use the quad, the quad control option, right? The power up punch for the dash and then the other dash. So now close combat got a buff. Maybe people use it. I, if I play Lucario, probably still won't. You know, I like the mobility. Mobility is king, guys, in the game. Alolan Ninetales. Lizard. 
alters how damage is dealt after hitting an obstacle. Snow globe. Fix a bug where damage wasn't increased against frozen and poison Pokemon. That's what I thought, dude. Now, also, the frozen timer is so short. So, if I free somebody, I gotta instantly use the, the ultimate. Uh, so, we'll see how this change affects the game. Now, let's take a look at Eldegoss. Eldegoss, Cotton Guard. Fix a bug with HP recovery. Improve the effect of the move for Leaf Tornado, okay? Basically, you probably move faster, enemy slows more. I think that's what I'm trying to mean. All right. God of War. God of War fix a bug with the damage for basic attack for the ba boosted basic attack. Interesting. Snorlax fix a bug where Pokemon remain asleep even if it hit by an attack for Yawn. Thank God. Again, similar to Wigglytuff, uh, sleep. Uh, now, by the way, when this is fixed, nobody is gonna use Wigglytuff anymore. I mean, not necessarily nobody. I think it's still really, really strong with the sing and, and engage, but at least it's not gonna be that annoying. Okay, you can't hit them and then they remain there and just keep on getting hit. Right? So, I think there's a huge nerf on Wigglytuff and Snorlax. Probably gonna be instantly tier B, tier A. Definitely not tier S any longer. Uh, probably gonna go back to Elder Gods, to be honest, with a heal or, or Blissey. So, let's take a look at Gengar. 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 Not Gengar. I don't know why I always pronounce it Gengar. I mean, probably because Jensen, you know, like there's the Chinese medicine. It's also G G E N. Gengar. Fix bug for Lick. Fix bug for when the Pokemon opponent were put in and a bug pertaining to timing. I don't know what that means. Mr. Mime, barrier. When upgrading, boost the amount of stored barrier to maximum. Whew! You can use your barrier and then upgrade it. And instantly you'll get a maximum amount of barrier. That's gonna be another technique Miss Mime player can, you know, use right away. Gar swap, fix the bug related to swapping defenses. I don't know what that means, but sure. Crustle, fix the bug with contact range. Slowbro, basic attack. Fix the bug with which caused the special defense of opponent Pokemon to be lowered by basic attacks. Surf, fix the bug with range, all right? Machamp, barrage, barrage blow, fix some bugs. Blastoise, rapid spin, fix the bug that caused movement speed of opposing Pokemon to be lowered. Rapid spin, fix the bug that allows you to use hydro pump and a water spell at the same time as basic attack during spin. Okay, so basically you're not supposed to be using basic attack along with water spell or hydro pump. All right, we also potentially get a new held item called Reiki Gigas. Reiki Gigas. Create a boost of scoring speed of ally Pokemon after KO. So basically, if you're gonna play Pokemon that's really aggressive and you can kill somebody, you gotta boost a scoring speed for ally Pokemon. Uh, maybe a support player can take this, you know, who go with a team and play really aggressive. You get a KO and everybody just run toward the score zone and score that motherfucker. So we'll find out. This is a really exciting update, guys. Which update do you like the most? Leave a comment down below and let me know again. Make sure to follow my live stream channel with the link in the description. Like, subscribe, and turn the bell on for daily uploads. With that, it's Dave signing off. See you guys next time. Bye for now. Just for the thrill of it, nothing counterfeit with